Well, a very good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Edan Prize Summit 2017. Uh, my name is James Ross. I'll be your MC again today. Hope you had a nice evening last night. We certainly all enjoyed, I think, listening to the stories of our two laureates and fantastic passion in those stories. Um, a few words of introduction, uh, especially for those of you who uh, are joining us today, perhaps weren't at the uh, dinner last night. Now, the EDAN Prize is the world's largest international prize in education. But according to its founder, Dr. Charles Chen Edan, the point is not about the money, but rather putting the spotlight on the best and brightest that the world has to offer, in the hopes that the groundbreaking work being done by the few will become the resource of the many. Uh, meanwhile, his vision on the EDAN Prize is more than just an award. Through a series of initiatives, including this, the EDAN Prize Summit today, the EDAN Prize Foundation wants to establish a platform that brings together a cross-section of stakeholders to engage in conversation and education and rekindle a new and constructive and inclusive dialogue on solutions to educational problems. Today, we're going to be part of some great discussions about disruptive technologies and their influence on education. We'll talk about the skills gap and promote which skills are currently on demand. We'll touch upon such fundamental topics as global investments in education and securing access in edu to education for everyone. Let's have a quick look at some of the great speakers that we've got coming up uh, during the day today. Our opening keynote is by Cherie Blair, CBEQC, founder of the Cherie Blair Foundation for Women and Chancellor of the Asian University for Women. Uh, we'll be having a dialogue with our two EDAN Prize laureates, Carol S. Dweck, who won the EDAN Prize for Education Research, and Vicky Colbert, who won the EDAN Prize for Education Development. That's a little later. Uh, beyond that, we'll have a conversation later this morning with uh, Martin Lau, who is the president of Tencent Holdings. And after lunch, we've got a couple of great conversations. The first one is with Bruce Rodriguez, who is Deputy Minister of Education of Ontario in Canada. And then His Excellence, the Minister, Dr. Ahmed al Aisa, the Minister of Education from Saudi Arabia. So, We've got some fantastic speakers and many more besides for the rest of our day today at the Yidan Prize Summit. Now, we do want this to be a very interactive day today. Uh, we want you to take part, okay? And we want questions. And in order to do that, we're going to ask you to take, to take part in our um, poll. And if you take the card that's on your table, you'll see that there is some information which explains how to use the polling system. If, you're, if your phone is capable of reading a QR code, you can just use the QR code which is printed on the card, or else there is a, there is a web address right underneath the QR code. And if you type that into your phone, then you will go to the polling part and able and then you'll see the sessions and you'll be able to put in your question and you can do that at any time during the day during any one of our uh, sessions and remember the earlier you put your question in the more chance it has of being seen by the moderators and uh, being asked of the panel or the interviewees so 
I do encourage you to, to use that system. It's a great system and just gives you the opportunity to feed back what you think about what you're hearing uh, during the day. Okay, well, we come to the part where I um, introduce the founder of the Eden uh, Prize, um, successful philanthropist and entrepreneur. Um, as I say, the founder of the Edan Prize and a core founder as well of Tencent Holdings Limited, Dr. Charles Chen Edan. In 1998, Dr. Chen co-founded the Chinese internet giant Tencent with his partners. In 2007, he launched the Chinese internet industry's first charity foundation, the Tencent Charity Foundation. Apart from his charity work with the Tencent Network, Dr. Chen undertakes many other initiatives in education philanthropy. He's recently topped the Forbes China Charity List 2017. He served as a visiting scholar of Stanford Law School in 2014 and was conferred the degree of Doctor of Humanities of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University earlier this year. Dr. Charles Chen Yidan established the Yidan Prize Foundation last year with a mission to create a better world through education. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Charles Chen Yidan. Your Excellence, Dr. Ahemi Oasa, Minister of Education of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Deputy Minister of Education in the province of Ontario, Blues Logicus, Honorable Mrs. Sri Blair, esteemed Eden Prize laureates, our distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, today we come together to discuss the future of education. Before we officially begin, let me share the goals of the Edan Prize and the Edan Prize Summit. First and foremost, the Edan Prize pushes for progress in the field of education. I envision the prize as a platform that brings together the best ideas about education from around the world to exchange pedagogical theories and practices that are effective and benevolent. Second, and relevantly, the Edan Prize connects the past with the future. The prize reveals extraordinary research and development in education. Not only does it pay tribute to revolutionary achievements, it's also forward-looking. We aspire to promote ingenious ideas and share outstanding outcomes so they may be applied on a larger international scale, creating the greatest global impact. Last but not least, the Eden Prize is a bridge between technology and humanity. Society should not prioritize efficiency above all else. Education should be more spiritual and experiential. The challenge to modern education impact by technology in twofold. On the one hand, technological advancement impacts the education system itself. It used to be the case that educational institutions were the most valuable mediums for storing and disseminating knowledge. But then, 
the internet enter every household, and all of a sudden, knowledge became abundant and affordable. In the age of information overload, what is the social value of education institutions? What meaning do they give and how much is a formal education worth? On the other hand, the development of science and technology is exerting an unprecedented impact on social order. Much has been studied and discussed about the significant loss of jobs due to artificial intelligence. Most conclusions are certain of this revolutionary impact. What kind of educational programs will prepare people to overcome these challenges? How can we cooperate with why competing against machines? These questions demand serious rethinking. Never has there been greater urgency for innovative education programs to meet our needs. Therefore, the theme of the inaugural Edan Prize Summit is redefining education. Today, we will hear from our two inaugural Edan Prize laureates. They have both devoted their life work to this mission. Dr. Carol S. Dirk from Stanford University takes us on a spiritual journey into how a close mindset can elevate everyone's potential. Ms. Vicky Colbert, founder of Columbia, Fund, Columbia's Fundacion Escuela Nueva, pioneered a groundbreaking new educational model that reformed rural schools in Latin America. Her conscientious work at the front line of education reveals deep insight on how to enter the kingdom of knowledge. Let us give our warmest welcome to these two laureates. For everything that both of you have done, I offer my wholehearted gratitude and feel so delighted that the Edan Prize can support the expansion of your important work. Once upon, a part, once upon a time, the holy grail of wisdom was ceremoniously handed down from one generation to another. But now, armed with technology, the secret code of holy grail has been deciphered. As education becomes open source, resource, everyone has access and opportunity to drink from the spring of knowledge. So where do we go from here? That's the question we want to explore today. Education does not yield immediate result, but the essence of education is a driving force behind social progress. Dr. Dweck has written extensively about not categorize children and lowering their expectations, as doing so would limit their ability to learn. Ms. Colbert, unleash the true potentials of children through her innovative model. For today's summit, I would like all of us 
to apply their theories and models on ourselves, to break through ceilings of the limit, our abilities to design and deliver education. And as we ponder the future, let us stretch our imagination and not assume that education must follow this tradition. Today, this room is a melting pot of experienced educators present with tacit know-how from working at the front line of education to policy makers and ed tech investors. Your contribution may be key to unlocking solution for our current and next generations. The Edan Prize Foundation is honored by your participation and invites you to exchange here today. I officially announce the commencement of the Edan Prize Summit and hope you may together find more keys for education. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Charles Chen Edan, founder of the Edan Prize.